Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the last couple of weeks, we have been talking about Microsoft getting desperate to get Windows 10 users onto Windows 11, uh, even if the PC doesn't meet the hardware requirements like my Windows 10 device and doesn't. And that's because obviously we are now just a couple of months away um, before the end of support, according to Microsoft, um, arrives for Windows 10 in October next year. Uh, 2025 and because of this as we have been chatting about Microsoft also doesn't want you on Windows 10 anymore and has discouraged its usage and has even said you can move to Windows 11 by purchasing a new PC which I said was a bit cheeky both those videos will be linked down below and in the end screen now according to the latest stat counter server results as I posted earlier today after steady growth Windows 11 has dropped in its market share and that video will be linked down below in the end screen. So because of this, um, obviously, although it's not recommended, uh, Microsoft actually acknowledges that you can install Windows 11 on unsupported PCs. So as an example, if you want to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 and your PC like this one doesn't meet the system requirements, Microsoft has acknowledged that you can, but obviously with a big disclaimer. And I thought this was interesting. Um, especially getting closer to the end of support of Windows 10. Now, Microsoft has acknowledged this in this article, which I'll leave linked down below in the description. And Microsoft has said, and I'm quoting, installing Windows 11 on a device that doesn't meet Windows 11 minimum system requirements isn't recommended. If Windows 11 is installed on ineligible hardware, you should be comfortable assuming the risk of running into compatibility issues. They carry on to say, a device might malfunction due to these compatibility or other issues. Devices that do not meet these system requirements aren't guaranteed to receive updates, including but not limited to security updates. Now, the following disclaimer applies if Windows 11 is installed on a device that doesn't meet the minimum system requirements. And here's the disclaimer in this paragraph. They say, this PC doesn't meet the minimum system requirements for running Windows 11. These requirements help ensure a more reliable and higher quality experience. Installing Windows 11 on this PC is not recommended and may result in compatibility issues. If you proceed with installing Windows 11, your PC will no longer be supported and won't be entitled to receive updates. They carry on to say, damages to your PC due to lack of compatibility aren't covered under the manufacturer warranty. By selecting accept, you are acknowledging that you read and understand this statement. So, although it's not recommended, Obviously, Microsoft is acknowledging here that you are able to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Now, there's something else that's interesting here. They mention in this paragraph that if a device that doesn't meet minimum system requirements of Windows 11 experiences issues, okay, they don't say what issues, just experiences issues. After upgrading to Windows 11, Microsoft recommends going back to Windows 10. And yeah, they give you a whole rundown of how you can go back uh, to Windows 10 if you are, as they would say, experiencing issues on your device after upgrading to Windows 11. So um, very um, interesting that as the closer we get to the end of Windows 10 um, next year in October, Microsoft getting quite desperate to get Windows 11 users over, sorry, Windows 10 users over onto Windows 11, even if the hardware is not supported. And uh, um, let me know what you think down below in the comments, um, what you think about um this article where Microsoft, although not recommended, they do acknowledge that you can install Windows 11 on those devices that don't meet the requirements. Let me know what you think down below. I'd, I'd be interested to hear. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.